Uh, my name is Bastian van der Linden. I'm from the Netherlands, but I live here in France since uh, three and a half years now. Uh, I've been a professor here for all that time, uh, working on research, but also, of course, lecturing all sorts of courses. Uh, and since some time, I'm also the MSc Director for the MSc in Global and Sustainable Business, which is our MSc on Global Business, but it's about our global business of the future. So, of course, I care about all the issues that we have now. I care about human beings, I care about the nature. Uh, I, I feel a strong connection with it personally. Um, but it's also because it's a nice kind of challenge. Um, some people say you always bring things together that do not really go so well together, right? And it goes a bit for sustainability and business or for responsibility and business, if you like. It's really difficult to think about these things at the same time without contradicting yourself. And I like that kind of uh, challenge. So after creating this program, someone asked me to explain uh, how I created it. And afterwards I called it co-creation. Uh, and it was only afterwards because it just started naturally with me wondering how should I do? Uh, and the best answer to that doesn't come from me or partially from me. The answer also comes from students and from businesses and from many others. So this program is literally co-created. I had workshops with students with the big papers on the walls, uh, asking them what would you like to learn, what would you like to work, how would you like to learn, how many lectures, how many work groups, all these kind of things. I met many companies, uh, particularly ones that are, let's say, have a good reputation in, in, in corporate sustainability. So Danone, uh, Michelin has an interesting story. Uh, plenty of these kind of companies, some specialized consulting firms, some big consulting firms, uh, just to see what is, the, what is the language, what is the kind of things that you need. In the end, perhaps the most important reason uh, to highlight co-creation so much is not so much to get exactly the right stuff on the program, but really if you want to create a program that works uh, for students, that sticks not just in their minds, uh, but also in their souls, then it all starts with involving them in developing uh, a program. The companies we speak with actually, that we ask who would you like to hire in the future, uh, they say we're looking for competent students. And competence is not the same as knowing something with your brains. Uh, and being able to reproduce what you've heard. Uh, competence is having some knowledge, having a skill, that is doing something with the knowledge that you have. There'll be an intellectual skill, but it's still different than knowledge. And some say uh, a competence also involves, let's say, an intention or a commitment or a drive uh, to do what you're good at. If you bring these things together, I think you're competent, and that's what we try to teach to, to students to develop their competences. Mm -hmm.